Hi, my name is Owl Dominate from Team Liquid, and this is my basic jungler guide to Olaf. Olaf has a very good jungle clear speed. Um, he does it well. You need blue buff on your first clear to be able to do it, um, but you are able to kill monsters very effectively in the jungle. Your gank is pretty good in extended lanes because with your ghosts and your axes, if you just land one, you'll probably be able to chain them down and kill them. Um, but overall, I'd say that he's not as strong as other junglers because he's kind of hard for your team to team fight with, and he can get kited by a lot of things if people get ahead. So even though he ganks well and his clear is good, it doesn't mean that he's a really good jungler for solo queue. On Olaf, you normally want to gank lanes that are extended so you have room to chase them down with your ghost. Um, normally, you want to take ghosts on Olaf and look for people that are pushed up start ganks by ghosting at them trying to get into auto range and use your chilling smite and once they commit to running in a direction that's when you start training them down with your cues and it makes it a lot uh, harder for them to react to your gank if you hold your cue for a little bit and guarantee you hit it on olaf you normally don't want to counter jungle too much because um, he doesn't have anything that makes him innately strong at it uh, rather you'd rather or in general you'd rather farm your own jungle as efficiently as possible and try to mix in ganks when you can um, instead of looking for their jungle. On Olaf and teamfights, your job is normally to wait for an opportunity and either try to zone the carries or kill a carry. If a carry is not getting peeled and he doesn't have shields or ways to kite you, like let's say the carry has no mobility like a Jinx or an Ash, you normally want to just ghost ult of them and um, use your righteous glory. And normally you want to time your ult to dodge CCs, so you want to wait until there's a CC cast in your direction, or you can predict like a Jan ult or something like that, and then use your ulti and go straight for the, for the carry. Smite them, use your Q, just auto as much as you can with the extra damage from your ult, use your E on cooldown, and try to just land as many Qs as possible, and make sure you pick up your axe in team fights so that you're able to um, actually do a lot of damage. The champion that has the most synergy with Olaf is Sivir because she buffs your movement speed and she pretty much enables Olaf to do what Olaf does best which is run down an AD carry and zerg them. It's just more movement speed is always good for Olaf because he just needs to get to the backline as fast as possible and kill them and with the Sivir ult you're able to do that more effectively than with pretty much any other champion. On blue side with Olaf jungle you want to start on your grump and get blue second and then just continue with the full clear. The reason for this path is because Olaf is really blue reliant to increase his clear speed. You lose a lot of mana when you start axes on him and you spam multiple axes on the camp. So it's better to just start um, on the blue side jungle and do um, your whole jungle all the way through and look for ganks when possible. You can gank at any point during this path if you see an opportunity, but if not, um, you can abuse his clear speed by just doing all the camps and power farming. On purple side with Olaf, you want to do the same thing as blue side, where you just start on the blue side jungle and do all the camps and look for opportunities to gank when you can. You normally want to ult when the first CC comes at you so that that ability uh, gets dodged and you also waste the cooldown on yourself. And that gives you um, a lot more time to uh, chase down somebody and stick on them rather than if you ulted at the beginning of the fight and then um, you lose a couple seconds where you were running at them um, to not do damage towards the end of the fight. Another good tip for Olaf is if you are doing your jungle and you're not at risk of invade, you can hold off your pots and not use them even when you get super low and uh, rely on your attack speed bonus to help you clear the camps faster from your passive. Um, so what you can do is you can get as low as one or two bars um, don't use any pots until you're almost done with red, then smite red and pop both your pots and then you'll be full life when you go for the gank. It's actually more efficient than if you use your um, pots the whole time because you'll have more attack speed so therefore you'll heal more on your W when you're low life. So as long as you're not at risk of dying, you'll clear the jungle faster using this method. For Olaf jungle, you want to use the same rune page as Shivana jungle which is 15 AD, 9 armor from yellows, and CDR and glyphs. For Olaf Masteries, you, can, you have two options. You can go 21 Offense, 9 Defense. If you go 21 Offense, 9 Defense, you decide to go um, for standard attack damage um, Masteries where you go cooldown reduction, all the AD Masteries, belt, Blade Weaving, Spell Weaving, Executioner, Dangerous Game, Devastating Strikes, and then Havoc. Um, and then the standard 9 Defense Points, which is Block, um, Tough Skin, Unyielding, 
veteran scars and juggernaut the other option is you go nine offense 21 defense and you pretty much want to run that when you have a more uh, tank role on your team and you don't have much and you have uh, enough damage um, on your team so you, your function is a tank and that's uh, where you only go nine offense to get the martial mastery and once you have that you just go full 21 defense spreading points as you choose but i like to put um points at least three points into the um, resistance the magic resist mastery and then one point into evasive and then um uh normally i like to get adaptive armor because if you stack like a lot of armor on your champion then you'll gain a bunch of bonus magic resist so um, early game it's not that intuitive because you're putting your points into magic resist but as the game goes on armor is normally an easier stat for Olaf to get because you're going to get um, tabbies and like frozen heart and things that uh, aren't magic resist related you just want to have the evasive to take more less damage um, from aoe spells on Olaf you want to start q at level 1 w at level 2 e at level 3 and then max out your q first e second and w last um, getting your ult at every level you can for item build on Olaf, you normally want to go Cinder Hulk as a jungler. Cinder Hulk and Tabbies are extremely core because you don't need tenacity on Olaf and Tabbies are super efficient. Um, then you want to go for Righteous Glory if possible. It's um, a super strong item for Olaf because it synergizes well with um, what you want to do, which is chase people down, and um, it also slows them, which makes your ax which makes your axes easier to hit once you get close to them. And after that, you just want to go normal tank items like Spirit Visage, Frozen Heart, and Thornmail. That's been my basic jungler guide to Olaf, and check out my other guides at lawclass.com.